Welcome, people of planet Earth and all planets beyond. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Josh, and welcome to Heat Check Vintage Levi's Edition, where we go over the highest vintage Levi's sales on eBay over the last seven days. So let's get into it. Just so you know that how this works, basically I go and I do as much research as I can to uh, confirm that these are the highest and the most legitimate Levi's sales on eBay over the last seven days, uh, trying to you know weed out the ones that were not paid for and relisted, or the ones that were shill bid, and or ones that may be look like fraud. Um, so trying to weed through those, make sure they look somewhat historical. Uh, you know they don't they're not way outliers. Um, but these are the results. So let's go ahead and let's take a look. Now getting started, we have a Big E version of the 505. It says Selvage here, but this is actually not true. There's actually not Selvage in this uh, particular uh, version. Um, not sure, uh, probably just a misnomer. Uh, there would have been Selvage on some of the earliest 505s, but this one is probably not that. This was probably um, somewhere in the realm of the very uh, early 70s is my guess. It has the Talon zipper. Uh, which does uh, sort of indicate that it would be on the uh, 70s side rather than the earlier or the later 60s side uh, but the talon 42 very common in the 70s uh, almost almost ubiquitous for the 70s uh, but all the other uh, elements here are beautiful it's a fantastic looking pair of 505s uh, definitely uh, on the higher end of the 505 world but not bad at all i mean this looks this thing looks exceptional Looks like it's in great condition. This sold for $724. Now at number nine, we have a pair of 501 Big E's. These are in fact selvage like they are advertised as you can see here. Uh, they have the selvage edge. Uh, these are super wonderful. Lots of deep blue color still left in the jeans. You'll notice this is probably one of the more uh, important parts of valuing uh, very old vintage Levi's is how much color is left what the condition is uh, these are in exceptional condition I don't see any major flaws There's a little bit of wear on the back pocket you can see maybe a uh, a wallet of some kind was there but this is a great um, great 501 probably from the late 60s to the early 70s you can see probably late 60s here we do have um, a combination you can see of different thread colors a little bit of the bright yellow but a lot of the orange which is more indicative of the late 60s early 70s uh, so great pair of jeans they did pay 766 dollars for this plus shipping uh, beautiful pair of vintage levi's next up at number eight we have a really fascinating one uh, this is the first type two on the list and it's the 507 double x type 2 selvage denim trucker jacket but what's interesting about this is that it is the kids version so the type 2 was made in the 50s um only for about a decade or so and then the type 3 replaced it um the type 2 was a replacement for the type 1 as we'll see later on but this one's exceptional because of look at the deep color on this um this size is also rather hard to come by you can actually see that it still has most of the black printing, the, the red printing, uh, the red ink is all but faded. But you do have still some of the lot number and the sizing on here. I mean, this is a beautiful jacket. Uh, the, the color is super deep. It doesn't look like it's ever really been worn, or at least not very much. Um, and finding a Type 2 in this size, you can see the sellage here. Um, type 2 in this size is rather uncommon. These are hard to come by. Uh, and especially in this condition, what an amazing jacket so cool definitely worth it at here at number eight uh, this one sold for 790 dollars plus shipping all right next up we have a pair of 502s selvage big e denim uh, these are in fact selvage jeans uh, they do have the selvage inseam let's see there there you can see them selvage on the inside that is correct these 502s are probably from the late 60s or early 70s uh, the 502 was basically just a zipper version of the 501 uh, ultimately the 505 kind of replaced it uh, but it's a incredibly good looking uh pair of jeans suit like a lot of deep indigo blue here uh, you can see that uh, it has a talon zipper which gives us more of an idea that it was uh, probably from the 70s the turn of the decade right there uh, but super super good condition uh, great pair of jeans uh sort of uh one oddity of it is that these are being sold from ukraine which is a, obviously a, a, 
uh, country in war right now. I'm not sure how the shipping goes, and I definitely don't know I would have spent money, a lot of money like they did, to actually order a pair of jeans from there. Uh, but somebody paid $900 plus shipping for this pair of jeans. I imagine that if they bought it and they was coming to America, they're also going to pay taxes on it. But um, beautiful pair of jeans right here. Now, next up, we have the second appearance of a vintage Levi's Type 2 denim jacket. Uh, this guy's beautiful. Um, it doesn't have as much uh, deep blues across the whole garment. Uh, you can see that the center does, obviously, but the arms and the shoulders and the collar all have quite a bit of wear um, across the back uh, as well there. A lot of oil stains on this guy. Um, I mean, this is a great jacket. Um, it's got the selvage uh, along the seam there. Uh, I mean, all these things are, are pretty pretty amazing. Um there's not going to be a bad item on this list, obviously, but uh, this would be a, a great jacket. If you were to own this, this would look great on you and be awesome. But um, obviously, because of some of the condition differences, this is not going to go as high as some of the uh, denim jackets uh, we might see later on. Uh, this one went for $901 plus shipping, so barely beating out the previous entry on the list. Uh, but a beautiful uh, Type 2 1950s vintage denim jacket. Next up, we have the first Type 1 on this list. Uh, this thing is really fascinating. A lot of good coloring on it. A lot of, you know, it looks like there's still quite a bit of blue in it. Uh, but this denim jacket was uh, obviously modified. We've got that red trim around the collar. Uh, we've got uh, some other stuff here. We've got some, we got some just uh, sort of some oil stains or something. Um, throughout the jacket but it also has uh, this embroidery on the back which was uh, I guess the name of the previous owner and the embroidery is cool but unless that's like something you're really really into this does detract from the value uh, this would be on the lower end of the type 1 they did pay 13 at 94 uh, 99 for this thing uh, this would probably without all the modifications be you know in the two to three thousand dollar range maybe two thousand dollar range you can see here's the buckle back it's one of the uh, more notable elements of the 501. Uh, the 501 obviously having uh, one of the most notable elements is it only has one pocket versus the Type 2 that has two. Now you can see some of the, the pleating uh, uh, stitching is actually coming loose there. So the condition's not fantastic. There looks like there's a couple of holes here and there. But this is a beautiful jacket and definitely has some history. Um, I think the listing actually indicates a little bit about the guy um, was a, a, a war veteran. A beautiful jacket. Uh, comes in at $13.94. Now at number four, we have another Type 1 denim jacket. This one, though, does not have the modifications that the other one did. You can see the pleating stitching is still coming up on this one as well. Fairly common at this point. These, these things are um, nearly 100 years old in some cases. So uh, this guy's still got plenty of life. I mean, there's some beautiful color in there. You can see there are some discolorations and some stains. Um, but by and large, this thing looks fantastic. Got some rust on the buttons, which is not uncommon at all. The buckle back looks a little bit bent up. And again, some stains here and there, a little bit of hole there. Um, but largely, the color looks pretty good. So um, uh, all in all, without it being modified, you've got some stains on the inside. See the selvage there. Without it being modified, I mean, this is a, a pretty good jacket. Um, definitely still gives you that... Uh, type 1 feel. This jacket sold for uh, $2,300 with free shipping. A beautiful jacket. Uh, definitely some detractions from some of the condition issues, uh, but still $2,300 is a lot of money. Now at number 3, we have the first World War II 501 on the list. The 40s is a selvage denim. Uh, these have in recent years become uh, some of the most hot and hotly sought after uh, 501s and, and maybe the you know, most sought after vintage Levi's products. Uh, these guys are exceptional. Uh, this one uh, obviously does not have as much color as uh, as it originally did have. It does have the selvage uh, seams. Uh, looks like in great uh, uh, you know structural condition. Like I don't see any major rips or flaws. You can see it has a hidden rivet back there. Um, the V stitch obviously was common for this era. Um, uh, you can see it's all that pale yellow uh, thread, which is uh, indicative of this era. You also have the, uh, in the excuse me, the selvage uh, po uh, watch pocket, uh, very common for this era. This is a beautiful pair of jeans. You can see on the back side, 
Um, still lots of wear. It still, you can still see some of the arcuates. It doesn't look like to me that these were the ones that were painted on. This is probably stitched. So uh, probably wasn't one of the pairs from uh, the uh, wartime conservation uh, period, but still a beautiful pair of jeans. Nonetheless, uh, not a lot of stains. If anything, I think I see one right down here. Uh, but largely this thing is in fantastic condition definitely worth wearing if uh, this is uh, your pair of jeans no, i definitely could see someone out there wearing these uh, these sold for 3250 dollars with free shipping uh, just a fantastic pair a uh, great example of uh, 40s 501s then at number two we have another type one this is the 506 double x uh, from the 30s or 40s era, you can tell that this guy is incredible. This is one of the nicest jackets we've seen on this list. Might be the nicest jacket. It's kind of hard to say, but you can see you have back here, we actually still have a leather uh, patch uh, for the label and the interior label. And it's still got a lot of the uh, printing on it, which is incredible. Uh, some of the black is definitely fading out, uh, but you can still see it. Um, this is a unbelievable jacket the the color is still super rich super deep blue uh, this is an exceptional piece you can see that it doesn't even look, look like there's a whole lot of rust or anything on the buckle back let's find that picture yeah there's like the buckle back looks brand new maybe it was replaced i don't know but looks great uh, a little bit of wear right here um, but man this is an incredible jacket it does appear like there are some stains but those are probably actually maybe removable but i don't know if you would want to uh, but uh what an incredible specimen piece right here uh, this deserved every penny that was paid for it uh, and in fact it was uh, 35.50 for this jacket uh, one of the best examples of a five or excuse me a type one denim jacket out there incredible now before we get to number one we do have another version of this a series called heat check with vintage t-shirts and that comes out on a thursday so stay tuned for that and check in if you're interested in the prices of vintage t-shirts now for number one we have another type one denim jacket um, i'm a little bit surprised at this one um, i'm not entirely sure what makes what sets this one apart from the previous one because i think if if it were me the previous one would be the be the more valuable one uh, as this one this type one has all these sort of studs in it um, it does not have the back label. Um, it is in incredible condition. Like the color on it is incredible. It's super rich, super deep. And that might be what really w wins it out is that how deep the color is on this. Um, it looks like it's in fantastic condition. I don't believe they note any uh, it, cosmetic issues. Whereas the last one maybe had a couple. Um, this thing is in beautiful. Look at, the con look at that denim. That is exceptional american salvage denim just beautiful jacket here um, it does have a little bit of rust um, it looks like this is a maybe a, a, a different buckle back than some of the other ones there did not have uh, some of the stitching that we had seen in the previous one uh, but beautiful jacket here um, uh, incredible condition again uh, you have the salvage on the inside and this one sold for 50 399 to take the number one spot on this list what an incredible jacket so that was the top 10 the type one definitely dominated and because there are only like a handful of different models uh, we're going to probably see a lot of repeats uh, sort of week to week as opposed to like uh, the uh, t-shirts vintage t-shirt heat check when we do that There's lots of different varieties typically uh, but what's so cool about the vintage levi's world is just all the different variations and different, uh, you know, little little nuances that make the vintage denim valuable or more in demand. So check back next week for more. We'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.